Good evening, everyone. Nagani and Westwood already know they're going to meet in the boys' district in a couple weeks. Well, why not have a preview tonight? And that was the case at the Westwood gym, which is where the district will be. Breast cancer awareness night uh, all over the gym. Lots of pink. Third quarter action. Jared Davidson goes to the basket, flips it in, and one. And Nagani would still have the lead, though, at 33-17. Next, Zach French to Andrew Lesage for the basket and the foul. He missed his free throw, though, 35-21 minors. Nagani didn't score that many baskets in the third quarter, but you can't leave Tyler Jandron open like this. That's good for three. Nagani is up 17. And I was told Nagani had three buzzer beaters tonight. First quarter, second quarter, and here comes Tanner to run for the buzzer beater to end the third quarter as he gets the pass from Tyler Jandron, inverts his body, and puts it home. And Nagani went on to win this one 61 to 44. The rest of the games out toward the eastern end of the UP. Manistique guts out a win over St. Ignace, 65-61. Kyle Tiglis, 20 for the Emeralds. Curtis, St. Louis at 26 for the Saints. Pickford doubles up Mackinac City, 66-33. And with Cedarville, 10 better than Posen, 72-62. The enemy Wildcats are tied for eighth place in the Central Collegiate Hockey Association standings with Notre Dame going into the final weekend of the regular season. The top five teams receive a bye in the first round of the league playoffs. The sixth through 11th place squads will battle in round one. This means an eighth place finish is good enough to have a home series next weekend. This is just the Wildcats' third home series since Christmas. Ohio State is three points ahead of the Wildcats and fighting Irish, while the Lakers have 41 points good for sixth place. Wildcats split a series in Sault Ste. Marie in December, but now the Wildcats need two big wins. These points are critical for us. We have the opportunity to gain home ice in the first round, and, and we've been approaching it like that. I think for us it's a great weekend. Senior night here, we've had five, we have five guys that have been a real important part of the program and, and done a lot for the program. It's a great opportunity for us to honor them. Proud to be a Wildcat. Uh, I've had quite a few memories over the years. Uh, uh, we went to the tournament once, uh, but uh, like you said, uh, our memories aren't over yet. Uh, I'd like to uh, have a good one this year. Face off both nights, uh, set for seven, our set for 735. Saturday is senior night, and Friday night is the annual silent auction. Proceeds go to the Wildcat Hockey Program. The auction begins at 7 o'clock and closes at the end of the second intermission. More than 80 items are available, including a 2012 Can-Am DS90X four-wheeler and a 7.5-foot standard straight Boss Plow. Two gymnastics tonight. A few qualifiers trying to make the state regionals next week. Avery Rochester is one for Marquette. And she did a nice job here on the vault with an 8.0. She finished third in the all-around and was one of those qualifiers for the regionals. Escanaba on the uneven parallel bars. Megan Height will continue a nice rotation here. She will get the flip and a reasonably good dismount to get a score of 8.15. Back to the vault for Nagani. Sarah Pakinen should have been first in the all-around tonight. She had a 9.25 here. Yep, a little step on the end, but with the extra pike somersault, that never hurts. And uh, we didn't get any final scores on this, but the state regionals are in a week and a half. So good luck to the gymnasts as they go down state. A member of the enemy women's indoor track and field team has earned conference honors this week. Jamie Roberts has been named Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference Athlete of Field Athlete of the Week. She broke the Wildcats pole vault record for the third time this season Saturday at the lone Wildcat home meet, clearing 12 feet 8 inches. She is a sophomore from Kingsford High School. The GLIAC Indoor Championships are this weekend in Finley, Ohio. Don't forget, all kinds of information is available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. And Packers tight end Jermichael Finley says he has agreed to a new deal with the Green and Gold. Well, Packer fans will be thrilled with that, I imagine. I would think so. All right, thanks, Mike.